here's how to create a freeze frame effect like this using your Insta360 camera. If you don't have an Insta360 camera yet, there'll be a link in the description below if you want to go pick one up. They're a lot of fun. I'm going to be using Final Cut Pro for this, but you could use Premiere Pro as well. Plug your camera into your computer and then locate the video file that you want to edit. Open the Insta360 Studio program and drag in that file. Now go to export and select to export this as a 360 video. This process converts the video file so that it's compatible with Final Cut Pro. So go ahead and open Final Cut Pro and make sure when you're creating a project file that the aspect ratio is set to 360. Take the video file and drag it into the timeline. Find the spot in the video where you want to create the freeze frame effect and hit Command B to split the video at that location. Click on the right arrow key to move one frame to the right and hit Command B again to split the video here as well. Now zoom all the way in until you can see this one frame that you've separated out from the rest of the video. Select it and hit Command R to bring up the retime option. Grab the end of the green line here and drag it all the way out as far as it'll go. There's a limit to how far you can stretch out a single frame. So if you want this to be longer, you can just copy and paste the frame. Now it's time to add the crop and keyframe the camera moves. You can do all of this in Final Cut Pro if you want to, but I find it a bit more intuitive to add the keyframes in the Insta360 Studio program. So from here, you can just go ahead and export the video out of Final Cut Pro and open it back up in the Insta360 Studio program. Now you can start creating all of the keyframes for the camera moves. So when the cards start flying out of my hand, I, think I want the camera to kind of zoom out a bit. Then it'll pan over and zoom in on this other card. A bit further into the video, I want the camera to have panned around and look at this other card over here. On this keyframe, I'm gonna add 360 degrees of rotation, so it'll spin around. And then by the time that the freeze frame effect's over, I want the camera to be panning back and looking at me again. Now that all the keyframes are added, you can export this and make sure you're exporting this as a flat video. And here's the final results. Check out some more of my videos right over here and I'll catch you guys in the next one.